Absolutely loving the fact that you joining us, we get to serve you, and of course, with it being family day, it's nothing but a feel-good kind of day, right? I've got to say, Face Jackson are just insane. I know. They're actually <laughs> one of the most talented group of guys that we've had on this show ever. They're just so good and yeah. so amazing, and I think they're awake now. I hope so. I think the whole country <laughs> is awake now. We love it, um, and we love the story. In fact, mm. this one really got our attention, and we want you to turn your attention right now to. Culture cycles, I'm gonna call them a movement yeah, that started so. to promote a culture of cycling in the township of Kayalicha, particularly among young women. Yeah, absolutely incredible stuff. Now we met up with the bike shop's founder, Sindile Mavundla, to find out a bit more about this absolutely incredible initiative. The story around creating a cycling movement in Kailicha really started in 2018. We saw how people actually struggled, um, not only just to move themselves to one point to another, but also getting access to quality affordable bicycles. And our mission has been, how do we change that? How do we get more people on bicycles? And one of the biggest hurdles was to get people on bikes safely, and majority of our people do not know how to ride a bicycle. And we had to change that by introducing a lent -to cycle class where people could actually learn how to ride a bicycle, learn how to maintain their own bike, but also build a community around that. Hi, my name is Cindy Lemavundla. I'm the co-founder of Culture Cycles. So how it all started for me, um, we had to fundraise. During the time of COVID, we had this idea of putting together a bike shop. When COVID hit, we then thought, you know what, the key people that need bicycles right now is essential workers. How do we get them on bicycles? So we started up with uh, 20 bicycles, from 20 bicycles to 1,000 bikes. From 1,000 bikes, we then thought, yes, you're getting 1,000 people on bicycles, but they need a place to fix these bikes. And a bicycle, that's where a bicycle shop like Culture Cycles, that's where it started. One of our programs is to shine the spotlight on women in bicycles. And I think it's quite key that we do so because women have not been given the opportunity. I and mean, also even in our community right now, we still frowned upon to see a woman on a bicycle. And it was also a key thing for us when we started the, the Learn to Cycle classes. Only people that came to our Learn to Cycle classes were women. So that actually said something to us. That said women are willing to push the envelope and women actually want a sustainable mode of transport that can actually give them freedom. So we then created this program which is called Cycling for All, which is a non-profit that is based under Culture Cycles with Rokokoba Cycling. Cycling keeps me busy. It takes me away from the things that happened in this community, like in our community, and it helps me to forget about other things and just focus on cycling and school. Cycling plays a huge role in my life. Um, it helps me to escape many things in life, and I believe cycling could actually take me places and make me grow emotionally and physically. So guys, um, our ride will be going to uh, Slitzwinkel side, so I want everyone to keep left and at least one meter distance between each other and each sides must be done properly um, to inform the behind you so that we avoid any crashes, guys. We can do this, let's do it. Yay. So through our culture cycling, cycling for all program, we're trying to take the girls off the street and to bring them to a cycling community where we teach them about discipline and respect for one another and hopefully bring up future leaders for our communities. What cycling has taught me, it has taught me life because conditions changes in cycling and as in life it also changes. So it actually has taught me to adapt with the conditions, not to be the same person again. And from there you learn and you, you grow from there. My role as a coach, um, it's quite a difficult one um, because uh, I train these ladies um, during the week. I'm trying to train their fitness and their mental ability to try and think for themselves, not just um, think for what they have to do, but be able to think for their friends around them, their teammates, on how they can not just help themselves alone, but help others as well. 
Lendao, a culture cycles, but like in a gum because if it being here, can get the year the cycles in the year and the funus born and the sea up humbly ganging a lendao and the funal bonsa many months on bazan, but in a snap potential of bazes in a pros for future. Culture cycles, I believe, is a place of home and it has made us grow as young ladies. And the challenges that we face, we escape whenever we come here. So that's why I believe and I know that Culture Cycles is home. Absolutely inspirational. Oh, yeah. I've been there. I mean, I rode with Nicholas Lamini when oh, he was really? part of a development group <laughs> nice. coming through. This is the guys run in the Tour de France as a result. So we can see wow. where these kinds of initiatives can lead. And girls can cycle just as well as the boys. Yeah. Proven. <laughs> that's what Culture Cycles is proving every day and we are here for that time. yeah we absolutely are now for you Mzanzi, if you want to get involved if you want to support this movement and i definitely encourage you to do so visit www.culturecycles.co.za or you can head over to their socials that's culture cycles and uh, that's the handle that you can use